The PrimeNet project is an international collaborative project between the UK and Ecuador. It's funded by the UK government's Darwin Initiative and involves the University of Sussex in the UK and a number of institutions in Ecuador. The objective of the project is really, or the aim of the project, is to conserve the critically endangered brown-headed spider monkey and the associated habitat in northwest Ecuador. The PrimeNet concept was accepted by the Darwin Initiative for Financing in 2004. And from at that point, uh, Cedros was part of the design in that we would become the workshop and training center for community-based parabiologists. The Los Cedros Protected Forest is located 60 kilometers northwest of Quito and 60 kilometers due west of the city of Cotacachi. The reserve is uh, 6,400 hectares of primary forest, which is situated between 1,000 and 2,500 meters of uh, altitude. The reserve was founded in 1988 uh, and became a recognized uh, protected forest in 1994. We're preparing now for the parabiologist training course. Um, it's a week-long course in which we've invited members from communities um, surrounding the Cotacachicayapas Ecological Reserve. Of major concern when working in wilderness areas is the risk of accidents. For this reason we're going to cover um, first aid, and with a focus on wilderness first aid. The teacher will be Carlos Armada, who has been is a biologist himself and also works for the Red Cross. He's going to pass uh, us techniques and methods to deal with first aid situations when you're far away from medical help and also to deal with the specific risks that occur or face parabiologists working in these environments. Diego Tirira is the founder of the NGO Ecuador Terra Incognita. He's also a world-renowned master zoologist and he will be teaching the parabiologists a little bit about the diversity of Ecuador. Diego will also cover the mammals of Ecuador. He will then focus in on the primates, and particularly on the primates that form part of this study, which include the brown-headed spider monkey, the howler monkey, and capuchin monkeys. With the use of slides and sound recordings, we hope that it will help the students to identify the species in the field. Anna Mariscal is the botanist with the PrimeNet project. And she will be sharing with the parabiologists field techniques such as identification of plants to the level of family, how to collect samples, how to preserve samples, and how to pass them on to the herbarium for expert identification. During the field part of, the pra of their practical work, the parabiologists will replicate field studies that we have carried out with the PrimeNet project over the last year. This practical work will enable us to join these parabologists in their communities and carry out similar studies of forest status in their local areas. My contribution to the parabologist training course is to train the parabologists in practical field survey methods. Practical field survey methods include collecting scientifically rigorous data on primate observations. These data actually are input into computer programs which provide information on the number of primates and the density of primates in a particular habitat. The primate survey practicals are carried out within the Los Cedros Biological Reserve. The parabiologists will walk transects using the protocols explained during the parabiologist training course and recording primate observations. Karina Paredes is the current editor of Terra Incognita. She will cover the conservation and the current legal status, legal roles and the laws that exist in Ecuador with respect to conservation. During her lectures and during her participatory workshops with the local communities, they will be examining each of the laws in turn and looking for examples of adherence and examples of where they were not adhered to. This will provide the opportunity to raise local concerns and local issues and also to see where common ground exists between different communities, probably threatened by different risks to their natural environment. 
The week spent together working on these issues and working through these issues generated already a very close network of um, parabiologists and also uh, made close links with us as scientists and with NGOs. The future hope is now that we will continue running these workshops and also allow some interchange between communities so that communities with expertise in ecotourism can change with communities that have some expertise in dealing with logging concerns, like as community run uh, forestry operations on a sustainable level. In that way, the network will be able to help to deal with the issues that these communities face on a daily basis.